is as it should be, and all is as is. Unconditional love. That is the nature of the true nature of who you are. <clears throat> That's what you're here to do. That's what you're here to be. Now, for this utopia to take place and all the things that I don't like and I don't resonate with, right? This world is conditional. This is kind of conditional. This is the ego's interpretation of what heaven would be like. All the stuff that I like go be there and all the stuff that I don't like, um, like y'all, y'all are not going to be there. It's conditional. It's a conditional reality. Now, you still get to have your preferences that you explore and engage with. You as an individual, of course, you get to have your preferences and engage with the things that resonate with you. The things that you like, no, this is my energy. I like to do this. I rock with these people. I'm going to hang out with I'm going to go over here. It's a, all that stuff is fine and good because those are your preferences and you get to have those. It's just that the purpose of life or the purpose of your life or you being here is to be yourself, to be your absolute true self. The absolute truth of who you are, which is unconditional, which means there's no conditions when it comes to uh, the truth of your presence and what you're here to be, what you're here to do. There are no conditions when it comes to that. Now, you don't have to engage with everything. Because things are going to exist. There's a bunch of stuff going to exist that you don't resonate with, that you might not necessarily prefer. But once again, the purpose of life is for you to be yourself. For you to be here and be yourself amongst the things that you, you uh, resonate with them, the things that you don't. Just because you don't resonate with them does not mean they do not deserve to exist. Once again, everybody get a seat at God's table. Everybody deserves God's love. There are no extra pieces, no mistakes, no people that you need to cast away or block out from your reality or get rid of. We're not here to get rid of the dark or uh, destroy evil and so on and so forth. All this stuff is, uh, this is, um, these are projections based in denial. Dismissive ideas. That's Get rid of this part of life because it's a waste. It's a problem. It does not deserve to exist. Get rid of it. <laughs> That's not how you fix things. That sounds like a beating to me. Like, let's, just, let's just destroy the evil in this child. They not being a good boy or doing what I want them to do. So let's just beat them until they do what I want them to do. That is the equivalent of you basically stating, let's destroy the evil. Let's destroy darkness, destroy evil. Let's get rid of it. It doesn't belong in this reality. So I'm going to just beat the hell out of it until it don't exist no more. <laughs> Sound pretty lazy to me. <laughs> Some of y'all doing lazy parenting. <laughs> this is your reality, beloved. Yeah, you have the responsibility as the creator to consider these things within yourself. You have the responsibility to consider these things within yourself. You're the responsible party. You're the ultimate authority. You are the creator. Try to figure out how to get rid of it. It's not necessary. What was necessary, the purpose of the whole story, the purpose of your presence and being here was you having the courage and the confidence to accept it. You being mature or growing to the point of maturity to accept it and realize what that acceptance would do to that experience. 
and neutralize it. But it takes a little bit of more, a little more sophistication to recognize that consciously. So here's the thing. You don't have to engage with everything. Now, everything can exist, but you don't have to engage with it. You can engage with the things that match your preference. Things that you desire to connect with. Things that you want more of or want to experience more of in your reality. No doubt about it. Now, here's the, here's the real, here's the real tell, tell of time. Here's the real tale's tale. It's until you have the ability to look at something without resisting it. Let me say it again and have you write it down. The point is, until you are able to look at something without resisting it, you will continue to draw it to you. I'll say that again, and I'd love somebody to write it down in the comment section. Are you ready? Until you are able to look at something without resisting it, it will continue to draw itself to you. We're talking about investments of energy. You pushing away things that you don't like is you investing energy. Oh, I don't like this. We need to stop that. We need to stop that. We need to stop that. <laughs> Let me say it again because I haven't seen it, but I'll say it again. So we, we recognize what we're talking about here. Until you are able to look at something without resisting it, without Resisting it, you will continue to draw that to you. That goes back to my previous point. It's the resistance, it's the pushback that continues to create what you don't desire. Whatever you're, whatever you're against, whatever you're against, you continue to create for yourself. This is energetic language. You speak like you can say, um, I hate hate. I don't like hate. I don't like bad stuff, bad people and injustice. I don't, I'm a freedom fighter. I don't like this. I don't like lying and y'all doing that stuff. And once again, energetically, the only thing that's coming through is all the things that you're talking about. Injustice, uh, you know, crime, destruction, deception. That's all this. It, the energetic, like it didn't hear the part where you said, I don't like this. It just heard uh, destruction, deception, uh, hate, uh, bad. So it, it just heard that. That's the only thing that you said energetically just now. It didn't hear the, I don't like this part. That's how energy works when you start expressing things energetically. Now, if you said, I love love and I'm, I'm, I'm so happy about the honesty that I'm seeing and the things that are um, happening in alignment and the beauty and health of life and people and how beautiful this experience is. Now, of course, speaking that, when you speak that language or you speak in that particular way energetically, you're basically professing truth, things that are in alignment. But when you say, I don't like things, I don't like things that aren't in alignment or these distortions or all these illusions. And so they don't hear the part that you say, I don't like it. Just hear distortions, illusions, problems, destruction. So on and so it's like, well, you're basically working for the dark. Yeah, you're saying you don't like it, but that's the energy that you're projecting. I know you're saying you don't like it and you're against it, 
But beloved, that's what you're talking about. It don't care if you're saying you or you're against it. That's the energy you're in. That's the energy you're referencing. That's the energy you're focusing on. So, of course, that's what you're creating. Energetically, it didn't hear the part that you said, I don't like X, Y, Z. It just heard X, Y, Z. You can be as passionate as possible, as, as possible, um, Hate, hate. I don't like. I'm, I like love. I don't. I, I hate, hate people. I hate people and such. It's like, well, that's all you're talking about energetically. I heard it didn't hear the part that you said you didn't like hate. It just heard hate, 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 like Dave Chappelle episode or something. <laughs> this is energetic language. Energetically, that's all it heard. This is why it's important for us to give energy uh, to the things or invest emotionally into the things that we desire. Only your desires deserve your final. Why are you giving all this manifestation energy to these things that you're quoting, quote unquote, saying you don't like? You're giving energy to it. You're passionate as hell about it. You own fire about these things that you fervently express that you're not, uh, you're not in resonance with and you wish would go away. This is like uh, Morgan Freeman. We said, look, look, uh, I hate racism. We're like, look, just stop talking about it then. You give giving energy to it. You want to end it? Stop talking about it. Stop giving energy to it. That's what that's what he meant. I'm gonna stop being a black man, and you gonna stop being a white man, and we gonna just talk. Let me be, let me be Az, and you be John. Let's talk. Once again, we're talking about sound vibrations. When you're talking about it, you're basically expressing a bunch of sound vibrations. The sound vibrations vibrate at a particular frequency associated with a particular reality they're catering to your vibration how you feel the words that you're saying you're reinforcing even if you feel another way but you're talking about these things you're reinforcing the energy in another direction because you're basically crystallizing a bunch of sound vibrations that don't match what you intend internally yeah no doubt you don't give fire to the fire you said they're complaining about a dumpster fire. You ain't going to be pouring more gas in the dumpster and saying you don't like the dumpster fire. I don't like the dumpster fire. It's, it sucks over here, the dumpster fire. You ain't going to be pouring gas on the fire. Hypocrisy. Insanity. That's exactly what that is. Insanity. Crystallizing itself. I don't like the I don't like all this uh, chaos and destruction. You out here uh, throwing bricks. <laughs> At the same time, while you're saying what you don't like, you're saying you don't you want to end this, and we gotta stand up for justice and do all these things, and they they doing this, and the dark doing this, the dark doing that. You know they're trying to do this, and you know they're trying to do that. And we got to fix it, and we got to such like, look, all I heard was you saying the dark doing this, and um, this is wrong, and this is wrong, and it's chaos and destruction, and uh, we're in danger, and we out in the street, and we're not going to have what we need, and problems, pro that's the only thing that the energetic world heard you say. Problems, 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 look at all these problems. That's all the energetic world heard you say. Look what they're doing. Look what they're doing over here. Problems. I'm just trying to create awareness of all these problems and the stuff. Look at all this stuff. It's so, it's so fearful. Oh, my God. That's the only thing the energetic world heard you say. 